It's all God to me. Is there anything too hard for me? Then put your trust in God alone and rest upon His word. For everything, for everything, yes, everything is possible with God. Nothing is impossible when you put your trust in God. I can hear you singing. It's impossible when you trust in His Word. Talking to the voice of God to me. Is there anything too hard for me? Then put your trust in God alone and rest upon His Word. For everything, for everything, yes, everything. It's possible with God. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for blessing us with this wonderful day. We are grateful, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah. This uh, day, whether morning or afternoon, is a blessed day. Today I am sharing with you and I want to share this with you until your heart is fully locked in to wedlock with the word. Amen. And my subject is Becoming a soul winner. Becoming a soul winner. Now, the reason why I am here with you in the First Love Church is because you are first lovers. Now, a first lover, I really wish I can write a book on first love. Because... First love is the kind of love you have when you haven't had a relationship before. And you relate with someone with whom you feel very much in love. And it's also the kind of love you have when you are young. Sort of very young. The two combined make the quality of what we call first love which is being young, you need to be young. And then number two, you need to have like the first, the person needs to be like the first or the first of a kind. Now that makes you love in a mad way. You give all you can and all you have. But if you are experienced with love, And with relationships, you usually don't give all. You just look at the person. Even when you are signing the register, you just say, look, let's just get on with this project. And you may not give all of your love and of your heart. Jesus came to us and gave us everything. But most of us don't give him back what the kind of love that he gave to us. Now, most Christians are not so winners. Most. To me, most ministers of the gospel are not so winners. But of course, it's, it's what I sort of feel. We have a lot of pastors, a lot of men of God and prophets. But I'm talking about Becoming a soul winner. Like you, you have won a soul. Now this kind of topic is something that uh, older Christians who are not in their first love for God. Like God, their love for God is like second love or like 98th love. 
they are not moved. But my prayer is that everybody here, from the young to the older, would accept my message to become you, become a soul winner. A winner of a soul. I don't mean a church member. I don't mean a basenta leader. I mean a winner of souls. Especially a personal soul that you can point to and say that I have won this soul to God. Now because of the spread of the church everywhere, it is as though there is no need for soul winning. That is the first blindness you have to get out of. Because people combine being an unbeliever with a semblance of Christianity. So especially where it matters. So you see during the election season, which the election is just next year, you see politicians visiting churches and lifting their handkerchiefs. One day I saw a politician waving a handkerchief at a program. I said, hey, everybody is now in the church. She was dancing more than anybody else. So, that sort of thing makes Christianity look like we are all believers. But you see, because of the testimonies we've been having in the church, we are realizing that People are not really Christians and are actually getting converted. And then they are coming to testify, especially in our great change testimonies, that I used to do this, I used to do that. But if we were not to describe it in that way, or we were not to testify in that way, those people who were taking drugs, smoking with whatever, Fornicating would also say they are Christians. Yes. You see, salvation comes with a change. Salvation comes with a change. And when that change is not recognizable, you are not saved. Yes. When the change is not recognizable, you are not saved. Salvation, real salvation, comes with a genuine change of your life. And after that initial major change, there is a continuation of the change. And changes keep occurring in your life as you progress with God. That's salvation. There is one big change. After that, it continues. All right? So many people who are called Christian, they say they are not saved. They are not born again. And many of them will go to hell because the Bible says that two shall be grinding at the mill. So that if, you, if you came to them, oh, shall we are grinders? So we, we prayed before we started today. We are all grinders here. The Bible says two will be in the field. So we are all in the field. Charlie, we are field workers. But the Bible says they knew not Then when the Lord came, one was taken and one was left. Do you see? So they are not, they are not Christian. The fact that you are in the church doesn't mean you are, you, you, you are Christian. I mean, some of the people who have testified that, oh, I used to be like this, I was like that, are pastor's children. In fact, some pastor's children here don't even want to testify because they don't want their parents to know how bad they were as pastor's children. That's the truth. It will, it will be like in some way if you come and say, ah, is that what my child was doing? Yes. So, 
pure salvation and the ability to win a soul is something that I want everybody here to have. And the first thing is to accept that people are actually not saved. (laughs) Even though they sound religious and they use it as a defense. So I go to so and so. Even charismatic churches. A lot of charismatic are not saved now. At first it was like if you are in an orthodox church, you are not saved. But now charismatic churches too will become a lot and then you have a mixed multitude. Some saved, some just coming along because their parents asked them to come. You get what I'm saying? Yes. So, it's important for us, for everybody here to be a dogged soul winner. Check the word dogged. I need dogged. Meaning, dogged. D O. G G E D. Danny boy, please lower your machines. Obstinately determined. Persistent. As dogged. Okay? Dogged. So winner. Stubbornly, obstinately determined to win souls. Yes. So, I am not teaching you to do something on a special occasion. I'm teaching you to do this work as your life's work and be a soul winner. Yeah. Like if 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 there is a if there is an occasion, a mistake, or any reason why you are found somewhere, that's the end of unbelieverism at where you are because as you've come there eh, a soul, you are a dogged soul winner yes so if for instance you were to go to prison for some reason now there are reasons why innocent people go to prison I hope you know that that's why we have prisons ministry not, not only that, but there are reasons why sometimes an innocent person can go to prison. I don't want to say to frighten you. But there are, there are things, things why sometimes people who shouldn't be in prison are in prison. Yes. You can have somebody who stole a chicken. He's in prison for three years. Yes. He hasn't even been tried. But he just doesn't know anybody. Yes. And so on and so forth. It, it, is, it is, And there are some cr- crimes that you don't know are crimes. Wow. You know? Like me, you may kill somebody by chance. And then they will, they, will, they will call it manslaughter. You know, but you didn't intend. Like knocking down somebody with a car. You know? And you didn't intend to. And they can actually pro- 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 escalate the thing to a certain level. So, God forbid you should ever be there. But... In Jesus' name, you are not going to prison. Now, if you are to land in prison, it means the prison will turn into a church. That's what I'm trying to explain. Like, it was a dogged, persistent, obstinate, resolute soul winner has arrived in this place. Yes. And he's not going to stop trying to win souls. Now, when I say soul winner, I mean somebody who can convert. You can actually cause a conversion to happen. Yes. I don't mean invitation to church. These are different things. Inviting people to church is different. I'm talking about soul winning. Like you win the person to God. You save a sinner. You become a savior personally. So this is the quality that I want everybody here to have. And be able to point, you see this person. I mean, how many of you were at a program where I preached 
and you gave your life to Christ. If there's anybody here like that, you gave your life to Christ. Reverend Kwesi, I preached and you gave your life to Christ. Yeah, that's, so that's the soul that I've won. That's a Reverend Kwesi there. Uh, you see, I didn't even know. I didn't know. But you've not been giving testimonies that. Okay, sit down. And who else? Another one here. Where? Legon Campus. Yeah, you came for a crusade over there, and I was standing right in front, and you said, you, 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 you have to give your life to Christ. You know, my father is a pastor, and I've been going to church, like, I was very bad, a very, very bad boy. So he said, you, 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 I mean you, you. So I was like, hey, what, does he know me somewhere? Like, <laughs> and I gave my life to Christ, and since that time, um, I've been stable in church. Wow. You see now, that's exactly what I'm taught. Your father is a pastor, and you are a very bad boy. You are not saved at all. Uh huh. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Real salvation. Yes. Pure salvation. Where you see that this person, because he's on campus, somebody will be saved. Seriously. And when I say saved, saved and sitting safely. You see how he's safely here? This is what I'm talking about. Like you've got a real soul that you can see. See safely and securely. You see, Reverend Kwesi there, it's like he's saved and now he has even been made, I've made him into a reverend. So it's like he's quite far from living God by the grace of God. Yes. So that's what I mean, that you, you are somebody who converts people from their sins to Christ. Personally, from your talking, not my talking, not the church. But you, you are a dogged soul winner. And when you can't win the soul, you bring the person around to come and see if maybe he didn't hear you, but maybe you will hear it's coming from then. Maybe that one may rather work. Because sometimes God anoints somebody to win the soul when your soul winning is not working. I hope you get what I'm saying. All right. So, now, let, let me uh, say something. You know, when um, you see, like, go in our normal life, you know, there, there doesn't seem to be any need to win a soul. Because your personal life does not seem to be affected. Whether you win a soul or not, life goes on. <laughs> yes. Life, life, life. You didn't win any soul last year. Life is, life is moving on. What has changed? If at all, if you get money, life changes. Oh, yes. So why not preach about money? Because mm. winning a soul doesn't seem to do anything practically for us and to our lives. Yes. So because of that, Christians are earthly minded and most Christians are not soul winners. We are, you are everything else except a soul winner. <laughs> Yes. And somehow, you are expecting souls to be saved by osmosis. Explain what is osmosis. Any science student, lift your hand. Explain to the art student what is osmosis. When an element moves from... Low concentration or high concentration... Is it low or high? Okay. You check on it after church, please. Those of you doing any kind of science. Now, the net movement of solvent molecules from a region of high solvent potential to a region of low solvent potential through a partially permeable membrane. You are confusing the art students. Those who are into banking, they are confused by all these things. All right. Now, reason number one, and within the reason you will have also the inspiration 
and the grace to become a soul winner person. I want everybody to be able to point to a real living soul. This person, I led him to Christ. See, when I see somebody like this who gave his life to Jesus, it encourages me to win more souls and to do more crusades. I keep meeting people who tell me that they were saved at a program that I preached. They were saved. I feel happy about that. And I want to meet more of such people. And I I want to preach more for salvation. But now I want you to be a soul winner personally. Yes. Because it, it, it is, we have so many reasons. Reason number one, it is the Great Commission. And I'm going to give you the reasons, and I need you to write them down. You must be a soul winner because that is the Great Commission or the Great Commandment. Amen. Matthew 28, verse 18. Jesus came and spoke to them saying, All power is given to me in heaven and earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Go, go, go. Hmm? Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you to the end of the world. Amen. 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 Now, today, I want you to know that we really need to please God. And when you are trying to impress somebody Try to see the big things that are important to the person. When when you are working for somebody who is important, try hard to, even if the person doesn't say it, because sometimes the person doesn't know it. Sometimes somebody doesn't know that the most important thing he wants to hear is yes, sir. When he he hears yes, sir, he becomes happy. Yeah, I, I don't know anybody like that, but if you have to study the person. So this is what makes the person happy. Sir, yes, sir. You see, I think so just like to hear, sir, yes, sir. Do you see? And some people like to be addressed by their rank. Call me general manager. Don't say yes. Don't say HR. HR. Call me human resource manager or general manager. Don't say HR. I don't like my name to be abbreviated. I don't know. If you take politicians, what do they like? No, no, no. I don't mean we're calling how you call them. No, I mean what, what do they want? What, what, who are the people? Yes, what do they want? Mm-hmm. They want what? Votes. Fans. Power. Money. Influence. What do they want? If you know what they want, you give it to them. And you will be pleased. Do they want truth? They may not want truth. They may not want and they may hate you for truth. Yes. You may not you may have to stand and say, No, not truth. Truth is not what is necessary. Something else. I don't know. Money, maybe money. Or what it is. Yes. Even if they are losing, you should say they are winning. Mm. 
I don't know. You have to study and see. You get what I'm saying? Yes. So, you can go completely out of favor with somebody when the person has a big area that you are some way about. Yes. You can go off. You, I tell you, and you may, you can never recover. Do you see? So, you need to study and see what's the big thing. Now, in your relationship with God, do you see? You have to analyze God. God, what do you want? Pizza? No. KFC? God doesn't eat KFC. God, what do you want? Five CDs. God doesn't need five CDs. What do you want? What do you want from me? Do you see? What does God want? Uh Uh-huh. And you will find out that there is a reason why somebody called Matthew 28 verse uh, 20, 19 and 20. Because Jesus didn't call it the Great Commission, but there is a reason why somebody called it the Great Commission. Do you see? It's like, it's a big thing to him. It is from his analysis of all the things that Jesus said. To win souls, to go into the world and preach the gospel seems to be a big thing to God. All right? Now, but it is not a big thing to human beings. Yes. Look, if I, if I want to talk about what do you need here? What, what we need? We need a lot. How many need a lot? Yes. So, you know, never be surprised. If you talk to one person and you go into the person's life, you will be shocked at the complexity of the person. A small person. Many things are needed. Many problems exist. So many you can't even. And sometimes when you have a problem and you mention all your problems, the person you are telling the problem to may shock you by explaining how he has your problem times four. And you will be almost falling on the ground. (laughs) Are you with me? Yes. So, so winning in the natural is nothing. But I'm telling you, the one with whom we have to do the one who holds this world in his hand, the one who can blow on you like this, and you are finished, you are gone out of the world. The one who can touch any part of your organs, of your body, and that place will not work again. It will fail. The one who can make you to be buried in three months from the day that you are diagnosed with something. The one who can send you to your grave on any day on any occasion that he chooses in an expected or unexpected way to him what is a big thing eh? <laughs> I hope you are getting what I'm saying what is a big thing to him is that you would become a dogged soul winner yes yeah like you if, if, if you are in a taxi Somebody can easily be saved because you are there. Because the person may not come to you, but you will lead all of our pretentious Ghanaian ways that we are Christians and we are pastors' children, but are not really Christians. But you, because you are there, can lead somebody to Christ. Not just lead, but convert the person and pray with the person. Bring the person to his knees. And let him repent there. I hope you are getting what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. If, if, you are, if you can be converted 
into a soul winner. To me, you'll be a, a rich person. Wow. Yes. You won't even pray for money. Yeah. You will not pray for money. Yes. You will not pray for money. You will not pray for houses. I'm telling you. You will not pray for peace in your marriage. You will not pray for marriage. You will just win souls. You are a deadly, dogged, persistent, obstinate, never turn me back, soul winner, found in a taxi, found in a school, found in a dormitory, found in a hostel, found in a class, found in a car, found in the world, you are a wild person, a soul winner. Amen. 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 Yes. I say, I, I predict, you will never be poor. Amen. You will never beg for money Amen. and you will never be in need. Amen. I'm sure of that. Wow. Yes. If, if I can convert you into a soul winner, yeah. You'll be shocked at the favor of God that will follow you. Oh, people don't say this kind of preaching, but I know I'm talking to first love. Amen. First lovers. I believe it. People who can believe what I'm saying. And people who can do what I'm saying. And people who can implement what I'm saying. Yes. People who are not too tired. Oh. People who are not just, oh, bless me, just bless me and let me go. Pray, pray for me and pray for my business and let me go. No. You know, I'm not that kind of pastor. You know, I'm not that kind of pastor. I pray for people and I pray for their lives and everything. But it's not my main thing to just pray for your business, pray for your... The prosperity that we have. And we, have, we, have we have prosperity. We must have prosperity to be in our building like this with nice canopies outside with people sitting in the canopies. The, 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 the anointing that is on my life, you see, Paul said that you are partakers of my grace. You see, there, there must be some kind of anointing on my life. Yes. There is. There is, there is an anointing. Yeah. And that anointing is the anointing that is also on you. Amen. Yes. And it's the soul winning anointing. Amen. Yeah. Yes. You know, many people don't know um, Benny Hinn because, you know, Benny Hinn has a mystical way of presenting himself and all the things that he does. But if you want to analyze what he's preaching over the years, he's been preaching about the blood of Jesus and preaching about Jesus. Yes. He's very deep. Very, very deep. I don't know anybody who is greater in terms of the power and the worldwide grace and even the money that came into his hands from that message. You know, he said one day that he used to be in a church. He mentioned, I will not mention the name of the pastor. When he was a young, he was a teenager. And the pastor had a specialty of preaching about the blood of Jesus. So because of that, he became interested in the blood of Jesus. You know, and it's the blood of Jesus that saves. And in fact, the anointing is put on the blood. The oil is put on the blood. Uh, because there is sin on, on you. And you don't have to even pray. It's there. <laughs> How many realize you don't have to even 
pray, you see that there's something is wrong. Yeah. So the blood of Jesus is necessary. I mean, every day confess your sins. At least once every 24 hours, you must have a major confession. And minor ones throughout the intraday confessions. That blood is the reason for you being here. Uh, There's no other explanation. Yes. Now, so this gospel, you know, this message, it attracts all the support of God and all the love of God because it's the big one. Yeah. You know, in my small, um, my small world, I also employ people. When somebody does something that's important to me, I find myself liking the person more. In my small world. Yes. Listen. Rarely will you see somebody prosper in a certain way from salaries. Like a certain level of prosperity. Yes. What did Peter say? We have toiled all night and we got nothing. It's not a new thing. To work hard for a long time and not get much. No! There's no job where you don't struggle for a long time and get very little. Look at our dear politicians. How they struggle for years before they get a small opportunity to be in power for a short while. Yes. Short while and then it's gone. Huh? Yes. They really, our current president suffered for a good 70 years. Huh? Not for 40 years old. He suffered and he toiled for getting nothing. I'm talking about in terms of presidential work. He had, he toiled all night and came up with nothing for 70 years. Then in the 70th year, he got some fish and was appointed president. He wore his kente and went to collect the crowd. Of 70 years of hard work. It's not a small thing. And you, many of you don't know the president because when he was younger, He was the main revolutionary fighting oppression and all those type of, they have the word oppression and what are the words, things they fight. Injustice, the rule of law, for the rule of law, and so on and so forth. I I don't have all these political words. I'm sure those of you who know. Yeah. So this is all night of working. I got nothing. That's what Peter said. It's the story of all men. (laughs) I came to you with this the greatest message of prosperity. Take take it from me. That this is what God wants. Like he really wants it. It's a big one. It's the last thing he said. It's the great commission. Yeah. You get it? So even me, you know, if I have something big or important to do now, you you may be surprised what I will say. Yes. You may be surprised what I would say. Do this. Yeah. So, uh, this, this church, your church, it's not about Pray for and be blessed. We we believe in that and we have a lot of that. I'm just telling you, 
something. You see? And that's why you see, so some people say, so what do, you, what do you do to get the youth? It's not dancing. Not at all. You see, when you come to the church, you, you may feel that, oh, I've seen the secret. You must have dances. You must have uh, film stars. You must have such songs like Ida songs. And then all the young people will come to the church. Is it true? At all. <laughs> you, you'll be surprised. You will go and do dances. You will have film stars. You will do everything. And you see that no young person is coming. Let me tell you the secret. You see, this message, an older person cannot easily receive it. Because it's like, Charlie, we are tired. All we need is a church. We need is what? A church that will do what? We attend. What you are saying seems to be bringing some kind of work. Even some kind of stress. Like something you have to do. Not something you have to receive. Yes. I'm commissioning you. Today is Sunday. By coming Sunday. Yes. Everybody here. I'm anointing you as a dogged. Soul. Winner. I hope Mike Les is around. So that he can. Do so. So winner. Where is Mike Les? Where is Mike, Mike Les? You are the back there. Uh huh. Okay, you've been given selection for after preaching. Don't get soul winner. If I drop you in a bus, if I put you in a taxi, if I leave you in a hostel, if I leave you in a town, if I put you in a prison, if I leave you in a plane, I've left an anointed, dogged soul winner in that place. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. And I want everybody to have my book, How You Can Preach Salvation. I want everybody to have one. In fact, everybody should have the Macario so that you pick when you need. Do you still have some here? After church, they are there. You must have it. You pick that book. And it depends on the person to know which of the hundred and whatever messages you choose from. How the person is. Some people need something about love. Some people need something about hell. Some people need something about uh, the blood. Some people need something about uh, uh, miracles. Depends. Yes. Now, sit down. Why, why, why do I say this? Because, trust me, a proud person cannot receive what I'm saying. Do you know why? Souls that are available to be won, they are always young people. It's true. Old people rarely get saved. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to disappoint you, but I want you to know. Why? God is, the power of God can touch any place. Now, when you are taking your seed, do you go and plant your seed on tiles? Do you plant it on the road? Do you plant it on a terrazzo? Do you plant it on a carpet? So it's not that the power of the seed is not there. But there are some places that are well known for being too hard and non-receptive. That's the reality. If I'm studying a church, I need a young person to convert. So when you are too big to first of all even talk to young people, you see, that, you see the message cannot work for you. Uh -huh. That's what I mean. You see, like you have to like somebody who can talk to a young person in a certain way. See that, let me explain something. Look, young people from the age of 8 and 10. In Ghana, they say 97% of all youth 
study or watch pornography in, in the, according to the study. I read it on Joy, whatever. They study, they, they watch 97% pornography. Yes, from the age of eight. I know, I don't know from the age. I don't know which age, but they said ninety seven of all youth. Now, it is the young person who can be saved. Yeah. So they, 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 they have enough intelligence and they always wanted to be, want to be treated as though they are mature. So there was a day that our children's church was transformed. When I stepped in, at first our children said they used to sit around ringa ringa roses and so on. And I came and I said, no, arrange them this way, like a church, and stand and talk to them like grown ups. When Bishop Oko started with the children, yes. His children are, his children are here. That is where the change came. A young person wants to be respected at, because in their world, they are also Ogbontiers. They don't feel they are too young for anything. I've never seen a young person who feels he's too young. All of you don't feel you are too young for anything. It's like you know everything, you know things. Mommy, you think I don't know things. I know things. Now, if you are big, you can't see somebody who is like, it doesn't have a beloved. Because you see, when we sing some of our songs for beloved, you see some grown ups looking and they'll just. <laughs> it's like these songs are for, yeah, I mean, they are for, I mean, what? You see, when you do that, it shows your pride. Uh, and also, too big to relate with the realities. Yes. Yes. I mean, we have a song, I, I, I found a beloved, I, I, I've got something, I've got a beloved. What song is that? Have you heard I, that, Afa? Have, have you heard you that? Have you heard the news, I've been found by a brother. Uh-huh, that's, see, i found by a brother. And there's another one. I've got a brother in the pipeline. I've got a brother in the pipeline. <laughs> he has been calling me. Uh-huh. There's some brother, they look at him. <laughs> So that, that's why you can't win souls. Because you are above souls. You are like in a helicopter flying over the souls. Yes, you are an executive flying above souls. Yes, all the winnable souls are far below you. Yes. You, you, you only sow seed on concrete. Yes. All the winnable souls are way below your thinking capacity. It's like, oh, these are children. So as soon as you can take that off your mind that these are small. Even some of you, you just leave Legon when you see people at Legon. So oh, these are children. Such people, when they are always referring to their brother and sister. So my little sister, my little brother, my little. And it's not little, it's bigger than you. It's my little brother. My little, you are conscious of your bigness. Yes. yes. And your hairstyles are the hairstyles of a 50 year old. Yes. Why behave like a mommy? You have just come two years out of university. You have made yourself very obnoxious. Mummified. They say, oh, the children from. Legon, the children from Central University have come there. They are children. I mean, these are our juniors. You are just two years their senior. And they call you mommy and poppy. That is why you can't win souls. Souls are down here and you are up there. So all the songs. Aida, what is the song? It's just a piano. I want to talk about my relationship. Yeah. 
It's about my beloved. Daddy boy, I need you. I need you. I need you. Can I tell you what's happening in my life? Yeah, yeah, go. I want to talk about my relationship. Change the key. Change your tint to your key. I want to talk about my relationship. It's about my beloved. He's so it's about my beloved and he's special. Can I tell you what's happening in my Can life? Can I tell you what's happening in my life? I'm in love and I think I'm going to get married. You see now. yourself grown up eh? and you just and, and you walk out like I mean you you there you I mean this I mean these are children whatever my beloved is such a nice guy oh, so sweet so gentle and so kind I can't believe God will give me someone so good you see now you see now never had so much love and you see, meanwhile, you are struggling in your marriage. Oh. So it's like when you hear this, I can't think God will give someone so special, such a nice guy. And it's like, hmm. You are saying, you don't know, you don't know. You don't know, you are children, you are children, you are children. Small boys are singing. That is why you can't win souls. Because you are way above souls. Souls, you are like you are super mature above souls. It's true. Souls that are available, I'm telling you, they are all children, they are young people. The last stage is university. After university, not easy to be saved. Not easy to be saved. Rarely do you meet anybody saved after university. Rarely. It's rare. Why? The ground has become hardened. The ground has become hardened. When I was in Malawi recently, it, it was so dry. They said it's the dry season, but it's going to rain. I said, really? They said, we are going to have floods. I said, floods? Why? Then we look at the ground. Hard. When it rains, it doesn't go down. It doesn't go down. How much more a seed? If the rain doesn't go down, what about the seed? The seed will bounce like a tennis ball. Flat because the, 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 the rain even doesn't go down. Hardened. And we all become hardened as we get older. We come. So when you hear, uh, finish it. I want you all to pray for me. Oh, what prayers? We have been finished praying on all these things. I hope my beloved will not change. Uh, I mean, my has changed I've already. I've heard many things, many things about marriage. Oh, yeah. Can such love turn into bitterness? And I am praying. So many waters cannot quench it. May our love be strong as death. So the floods cannot drown it. Whatever God does, it shall be forever. Love is strong as death. It will be. 
sit down, sit down. You are, you are blocking somebody's view. <laughs> do not, shh, do not grow beyond the age that God has for you. Don't die prematurely even in your soul. All these love songs and these things we are singing, they apply even to grown-ups. Yes. Some people said to me, ah, you have been preaching all these things at the first love church. Why don't you preach it to us? You see, why don't I preach it to you? If I preach, will you, will you, will you even say amen? <laughs> yes. It applies. You can ask some of the people, man, we, we discuss honeymoon. We are going to do this. Then we are going here. We are going to be happy. Do you know how many I married 30 years ago? 30 years ago I married. But it's fresh in my mind. Yes. It's fresh in my mind. Kaba shik at Do not, do not make yourself super mature like a yam that is very hard to eat. Have you seen some super hard yams? An old kinky. The big commandment of God, the big commandment of God is about soul winning. And the souls, Charlie, they are all small boys and girls. They are all students. They are all in secondary school. And this year, we are focusing heavily on secondary schools. <laughs> secondary schools. Yes. Because now the secondary school is like university. In terms, in terms of evil, it's like university even more. Seniors. They know things. God's work is there, but you are too big for such things. I want to see you flowing. Nobody here should mature out of soul winning. Out of Christian music. Out of happiness in God. Out of being cheerful. And nobody wants to marry a strict mama. Do you want to marry a strict mama? Why don't you want to marry a strict mama? There's no flexibility. Then why have some of you been doing your hairstyle like a, an older hairstyle? Is it out of a lack of money or what? Like you don't even look like a young person again. Should I call the brothers to identify them? I don't know why I'm standing in this area. I don't know why I'm standing in this area. We see that you are a small girl. That's why some of you are not getting beloved. You are looking like a strict mama and older, like a too mature for your age. Too mature for soul winning. I'm telling you. You see, all the listen, shh, all happiness, happiness. You don't you 
Life is not when you, when you finish school, you switch off the switch of life. When you marry, you switch off the switch of life, happiness. When you get a child, you switch off the switch of whatever. No, you have switched it off, but it's not off. You are not dead. Are you dead? No. You only know you are dead when you knock the coffin like this. And you see that it, it, this is a real coffin over your head. Until then, you are here. And we are flowing with God. I hope you are getting what I'm saying. Sometimes I just laugh in my head when I look at people and say, oh, these are children or whatever children. That's the children that you are seeing. That's the prosperity. Yes. Yes. That's the children. That's the prosperity. I, I can't say certain things in the microphone. If, 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 I was, if I was to open my mouth and I speak, you'll be surprised. You'll see that. As you are mocking something, and as you have made yourself super older, you are actually missing the riches and the richness of life, of happiness, of joy, of soul winning, of working for God, of being happy. Do you think problems will ever go away? The problems change. They don't go away. They change. That is the nature of this life. But it's possible to be happy. I just can't say, give so many, but if I was in another smaller setting, I'll give you an example. You'll, be, you'll, be, you'll, you'll just fall down in shock. That happiness is possible and it goes along with the joy of soul winning and of serving God. Yes. Charlie, it's the big one. No? If we miss the big one, I honestly don't know how things are going to work out. Yes. So everybody here, I need you to be able to point to you see, even me, as I'm preaching, I put this one sitting here gave his life to Christ. This one gave his life to Christ. Who else? When I was preaching, this girl, she's a missus. From, she came from Nigeria, but she's a Ghanaian. She came from Nigeria. She lives in Nigeria. She gave her life, which year? 1997. 1997. I'm pointing to my souls. They can't say that I didn't preach and they gave their life to Jesus. And who else? This one. When was that? 1991. 1991? Yes. At Kolebu, I came from St. Mary's Secondary School to the canteen and then you preached and I gave my life to Christ. St. Mary's Institute of Higher Professors? No, no, secondary school. How old were you, my dear? I was a teenager. I was 18. I remember one day she came to me. She said, I don't think I will get to the age of 20 or 30 or something. And I told her, you will be. And I prayed for her. And she's still here. Yes. 1991. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just walking in the midst of my rewards. I'm, I'm just walking in the midst of my rewards. When I pass, you know, I see one of my rewards. I see one of my rewards. Who is that? This one here. Another one here. Come. You gave your life when? 2013, 15 February. 15 February. He knows the day. Where were you? Which school? I was in KNUST. K-N-U-S-T. In tech. Tech. Yes. <laughs> U-S-T. K-N-U-S-T. You see, there is no old person here telling me I gave my life to Christ when I was working at the uh, Institute of Mines and Technology Computer Science International Firm. No. no. Everybody who gets saved is a child. So when you make yourself superior to children's lives, you will never be involved in soul winning. I'm telling you. And it's a, it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy. So, thank you. You can be seated. I hope we are not going to miss. Why 
when we sing songs like a uh, uh, Peter Lover. The first boyfriend I had, mm, Peter. Oh, he won my heart. And I gave myself to him. Oh, yeah. Ooh, night after night. He came into my life. This is a young person's song. A dream come true. A man who comes into your life as a dream come true, you must be young. I did everything he told me to do. Ah, you see now. I just wanted us to be together. Uh -huh. I would cover him with so many kisses. Oh, oh, oh. The old people have stopped kissing. Him. They want somebody to die, and when the person is dead, they'll come and say. I mean, you've not seen some before. I, I've, I've been to a funeral. A lot of people were kissing the, the, the lady. She was, it was a lady. They kissed her uh, mouth to mouth kissing. Comes and, mm, 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 huh? They don't wipe. No, you don't wipe. You just come and kiss. They kissed her. Uh, yeah, a, a lady, a young lady, she died. It was now that we were practicing greet one another with a holy kiss. We don't kiss anymore. We don't touch anymore. We don't have any. We are not happy, happy anymore. Please, soul winners are young, happy people winning fellow young, happy people. Can I have an amen from somebody? Can you mature out of soul winning? The answer is no. I hope it is clear. I hope I'm making myself very, very clear. Amen. So out of 120 reasons, I've given you one reason. And look at how long it has taken. To just give you one reason. Clap for. Reason number two, you must be a soul winner because we are all called to this great work. It's a calling for all. It's a call. Matthew 22 verse 14. Many are called. Many. Amen. Many are called. If you think just a few are called, no. Listen, I am not going to form a special soul winning team in the church. You are my team. Shake your neighbor and say, the man has added you to his team. Yes. If you think I'm going to call 12 guys, I need 12 guys, young guys on the stage. 12 guys. As a team. And I say, these are the soul winners of the church. I'm sorry. I will never do that. I am including you because many Matthew 22, 14. Many. Are called. This is few. I can't use this team. We can't achieve much. When I set you loose today, the world is in danger because you are coming out of church. And you see, you can't tell me you want souls but they are in space. No. The souls I showed you today, are they not here? Practically. So I'm sorry guys, I can't appoint you as a special team. Yes. You have to be part of the whole team. There's nothing special and unique that I have to give to you. No. Everybody here as a team 
is going to work and win souls. As our what? Our team. Theme, theme, not team. Theme. You have never been to South America. It's as our team. As our team. Yes. I feel excited already. How many feel excited already? Yeah. Yes. Now you will see how your life will change. Yeah. Trust me. Trust the word of God. When you do what the person really like among, you see, the Bible is full from Genesis to Revelation with many things to do. Now we are isolating that challenge in the midst of the plenty things. This one is quite important to him. Yes. You, you, you make him happy. Yeah. You make him happy. You make him happy. Amen. Sit down. As a team. You can't have it all for yourself. God has other children. Hallelujah. William Booth said, not called. You say you are not called. <laughs> when you go to London, his statue is in front of a building, South London. He and his wife. He said, not called. You say you are not called. Did you say, he said, rather you should say you have not heard it. I know that you are not called. That's William Booth. Then listen to what he said. Put your ear down to the Bible and hear him. Hear him bid you go and pull sinners out of the fire of sin. Put your ear down to the ground, to the burdened, agonized heart of humanity. And listen to its pitiful wail for help. Listen to William Booth, the founder of Four Square Gospel Church. He said, go and stand by the gates of hell and hear the damned and treat you to go to their father's house and bid their brothers and sisters and servants and masters not to come to this place. Go and tell people. Then he said, then look Christ in the face whose mercy you have professed to obey and tell him whether or not you will join heart and soul and body and circumstances in the march to publish his mercy to the world. A missionary to China, Isabel Kuhn said, I believe that in each generation God has called enough men and women to evangelize the all unreached tribes of the earth. It is not God who does not call. It is man who will not respond. And finally, a third reason. I'm just giving you three reasons for today. You must be a soul winner because you were created to carry out the good work of soul winning. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. For everybody, look at this verse. This is the closing scripture for today. We are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus. And to good works. Everybody, can I hear your English? Good works. Good works. Yeah, good works. What good works? Which God has before ordained. You are ordained. To walk in these good works. What good work is it? The work of politics? Work of education? Work of science? Work of research? The work of soul winning is the only work we can do. Yes. So, today, I offer you the opportunity to be co-opted. Learn how to talk to souls. Even by the time you win three souls, God will look and say, my darling daughter, you want me three souls, right? I win you one husband, okay? Yeah. Take him on Friday. Yeah. i give you two options, Friday and Saturday. You can choose one. You want souls for me, you love me, I win a husband for you. You can never force a man to like you. I know, dear Charlie, it is God. God has to touch his heart. 
Girly girls. Girly girl girls, are you there? Yeah. I say you cannot force a man to love you. The heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. Look, I'll tell you a secret. But I'll, but I'll tell you only part of the secret. Shall I tell you the secret? You know, one day I was in my study. I was walking up and down praying. Then I started to think of somebody. Then I had had a certain mind about the person. Then, as I was walking a thought occurred to me, a good thought. The mind I had about the person was, I would call it a flat mind. So then a good thought came to my mind. Do you know what happened at that moment? I heard a voice. Well, like a voice. It was like, that person is praying for you. You know, the fact that a good thought came to my mind Immediately, the next order, somebody is praying for me because I'm a man of authority. So, my mind can change this way, this way, this way. If I change my mind, it can change people's lives. Yeah. So, I felt somebody is praying for me. Hey. I said, hey, who is praying for me? That a good thought is coming to my mind about somebody. Yeah. I felt that it's like a supernatural mind is changing, you know? Kamado <laughs> Shakataba. people's minds and hearts will change by the power of God. That's why I said you can't force somebody to like you. That's why when you see somebody likes you, you should look at it very well and say, hey, you like me? You like me? eh? You really like me? You say, Charlie, I'll flow. Don't, don't start. Don't even start. Don't even start any funny things. Yeah. Just look at it. You like me, eh? You like me. Don't tell the person bad things about yourself. You know, I'm impatient. I am, you know, sometimes I'm wicked. You know. Uh, you know, my mother says I'm lazy. I don't remember things. Don't talk like that. Come on, don't be silly. Somebody likes you. A supernatural thing is happening. Kayama shakaba shombalaba. I say, as the thought in my the thought occurred to me, a thought that has never occurred to me before. I said, somebody somewhere is praying for me. That has made my a thought like this come to my head. I tell you, because me, I I I fear God. God is very powerful. So you they, all your head do, especially this old lady. Today we are going to catch after church. All of you with old lady heads. I said, this is a children's church. We don't need any old mature. I mean, how old are you? Abba. 19, you look like 34. The wig you are wearing has made your head look like Captain Haddock. Do you know Captain Haddock? Your head is now bigger than normal. As if you are having hydrocephalus. Are you a queen, madam? Are you a queen, mother? Yes. What was I saying? I was saying something important. You've forgotten what I was saying. If somebody likes you, it's supernatural. It's supernatural. So God is saying, you like me, huh? You like me, you see? This is the seventh soul. This is the seventh soul you've brought. Okay. I've seen it. Okay, my girl. 
I have somebody for you. You know, I have a missionary in one of the countries. You know, he was in church one day. And uh, I, I, was, I, I asked somebody a question. I asked, what's your name? Or he said he was sitting at the back. He said, as soon as I said, what's your name? He said, oh, I like the guy. He couldn't see who. But after church, he came to see who was the person that I, I asked. He, he's married her. He doesn't know anything. He's married her. Happily. Shata, 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 basada. The heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. He turns it this way like this. Like this. As for me, I want to be a soul winner. I, mean, I, I, will, I will not lie to you. Yeah. Now, that, that's, that's why, you know, I, you know, I feel, when, I, when I'm having crusades, I feel sorry for those who are not having crusades. I'm sorry to tell you. But I, I really thank God. One day I was sitting with Dr. Go on the platform. We were in Bissau, in Guinea-Bissau. And I, I think the last night or one of the nights, and I just turned to him. The wind was blowing on our faces in the night. Crowd, thousands. And I told him, I said, we are blessed to be. He said, he shook. He said, we are too blessed to be here. Here to win souls. It's a blessing. So winning is a blessing. You know? Yeah. And that blessing is coming on you. Yeah. Yes. Charlie, Volta Hall is in danger because you are in Volta Hall. IPSA or UPSA, whatever the school is, is, is in danger because you are there. In Jesus' name. Liman Hall is in danger. Because you are just going to knock on somebody. Now, if you go to somebody and say, Charlie, go away. You see, if you are big, it, it worries you. But when you are normal, Flowing person. When the person says go, when you come out, you just laugh. Say, Charlie, the guy, the guy was wild. Oh. Let's go to the next room. That's all. You just go to the next room. Say, the guy was wild. Oh. Let's go to the next room. That's all. But when you are very present, these stupid people, they, they are, we, we, I'm wasting the blood of Jesus on these people. Let's go to the next room. Charlie, the guy freak out. Oh. Charlie, let's come back. We'll come there next week. Slowly, 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 slowly. The power of and pray, oh, pray. So when it is not possible without prayer, because God has to touch the people. Yes, God is going to use you, power. God is going to use you, beer. God is going to use you, wah, Yes. Are you more mature than so many? Not at all. Now, please interview the person sitting next to you. Say, do you understand the preaching? Do you understand today's preaching? Do you understand today's preaching? Please just check. I'm, I'm appointing you as a TA. Check with the person whether he understands the preaching, the preaching that has been preached. If they understand it, you can stand to your feet. I'm a soul winner. Hmm. Be a soul winner. Be a soul winner. I'm a soul winner. Listen. How many are going to be? You see, some of the people who sleep in the on the roadside. Some of you feel bigger than them. Yes. It's like you come with your high heel push. A soul is a soul. And it's precious to God. Some of the posh people that you look around, they used to stay in uncompleted houses. I used to stay in an uncompleted house. Yes. A house without even windows, without floor. Yes. 
you are going to be rich. Yeah. Father, thank you for every soul winner that is here today. Thank you for the anointing of personal soul winning. Lord, we are not going to miss this opportunity to be soul winners. We are going to win souls practically. One by one. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, wait. Look at me. I don't want to tell you the name of the church, but it's one of the very, very biggest churches in Ghana. Do you know what we have experienced? When we go around the country and we invite them to come to crusades, do you know what they tell us? They said, oh, we, we don't believe in crusades. One to one, the one to one that we do, it wins more souls. So they don't join. Rarely does that particular denomination join. And they are one to one soul winning church. And it's one of the biggest. If you do what I'm saying, there will be nowhere we may be forced to have uh, two services. Yes. Because it's a wild thing when everybody has decided I'm a soul winner. Father, thank you for the blessing and the anointing of the soul winner that is upon every church and every person here. In Jesus' name, amen. As every head is bowed and every eye closed, if you want to give your life to God, want to give your life to Jesus, raise up your right hand and I'm going to pray with you. Maybe somebody invited you to church, but you, you don't know Jesus. I like don't know if you die, if you go to heaven or hell today. You don't know whether you die. If you die today, you don't know whether you go to heaven or hell. You want me to pray with you? Pastor, pray for me and pray with me. If you are here like that, I just want to see only your right hand up like this. God bless you. Father, thank you for all those who have lifted their hands. If you've lifted your hand, you want to give your life to Jesus. I want you to do one thing. Come to me in the front. Only those who have lifted their hands, come. I'm going to pray with you. Only those who have lifted their hands, come. Give him your life today. Come and let me pray with you. Come. You lifted your hand. I want to give my life to God today. Come to Jesus right now. Only those who lifted their hand. If you didn't lift your hand, don't come. Let us pray. Say this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. I am a sinner. I know I am a sinner. Have mercy on me. Please wash away my sins and write my name in the book of life. From today, say from today, I belong to God. I will follow Jesus. I will serve Jesus Christ. Lift your two hands like this. Say, thank you, Father, for saving me, changing me, forgiving me today. I love you. I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now say after me, Satan, listen carefully. From today, I bind you. I reject you. I will not follow you in the name of Jesus. Christ has set me free and I'm free indeed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Satan is bound in your life. Lift your right hand like this. Say, Jesus, save me. Change me. Forever, I am your child. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I want to give you one of my books. This is a special book called How to Be Born Again and Avoid, Avoid going to hell. Amen. Amen? Are you happy I'm giving you this book? Are you happy I'm giving you this book? Yes. Next week Sunday, I need you to come back here. It's a blessing. 
We are always here on Sundays by the grace of God. So next Sunday, come to church here and your life will never be the same again. This is the beginning of new things. What's your name? Emmanuel. Which school do you go to? You don't go to school. You are a worker. How about you? Yao. What school do you go to? One year gap. Okay. Father, bless them, Lord. Help them to follow you. I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. As soon as we go, do you see the written salvation corner? Have you seen it? That red thing in the sky. Yeah. Let's make it bigger. We can't see. Okay. After church, all of you come there. We are going to pray with you there. Amen. God bless you. You may go back to your seats. It's time for communion. Take, eat, this is my body, which was broken for you. Drink, this is my blood, which was shed for you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. Oh, oh. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. Oh yeah, the cup of blessing which we bless, it's the communion of the blood of Christ. The bread which we break, it's the communion of the body of Christ. Oh, this is the holy meal, the meal of God. Oh, oh, oh yeah it will sustain you it will make you whole and give you life when i see the blood oh, 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 oh yes i will pass over you mm-hmm. when i see Father, the blood thank you for this blessing Numbers chapter 6 verse 23 I'll put it take your bread Father we give you thanks for the blessing blessing which we bless thank you for blessing everybody here today we thank you for this bread which is now a divine meal supernatural vitamins minerals and other materials which are necessary for our lives we receive them an anti-cancer drug Thank you. Anti-HIV drug. Anti-tuberculosis drug. Anti-any wicked diagnosis medicine. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that as we take it, our life goes forward several months today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. The body of Jesus Christ. Now, for your sins and my sins, let the blood be sprinkled everywhere. In the mighty name of Jesus the Savior. Let a good thing, let a great thing be released in the lives of everybody here. Amen. Forgiveness. Yes. For pride. Yes, Lord. Whatever is proud in us. Yes, Lord. Father, we confess it. Amen. Whatever is too big. Oh. 
in us without knowing it. Yes, Lord. Father, forgive us. Amen. Whatever is lustful oh, Jesus. in us, mercy. Whatever is unholy. Thank you for this blood. Whatever is unloving. Forgive us. Whatever doesn't have faith. Yes. Forgive us. Amen. Forgive us for disobedience. Oh, yes. Let the blood be sprinkled over our hearts Amen. and our souls. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. The blood of Jesus. Numbers chapter 6. Verse 23. Watch it on the screen. Speak to whom? Aaron. Aaron was the priest, the pastor. And his sons. Saying, on this, on this wise, verse 23. On this wise or in this way, you shall bless the children of Israel. Saying to them, So as I say something to you, I am blessing you. Amen. He says, on this wise, you shall bless the children of Israel, saying to them, the Lord keep thee. Amen. The Lord bless thee. Amen. Father, bless all the wonderful children standing here today. I receive it. Bless. Yes. Let there be a blessing in their lives. Amen. A blessing in their hearts. Amen. A blessing in their souls. Amen. Those watching by the internet, let there be a blessing on their eyes. Let them see greater things than they have seen. Amen. Let the Lord bless you now, my friend. Let the Lord keep you now. The Lord keep thee. The Lord protect you. The Lord make you special. The Lord make you outstanding. The Lord make you like a city set on a hill. The Lord make you different. The Lord make you nice. The Lord make your life nice. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is not nice and good. I lift my hand and I I pray for grace. That whatever is not good on our lives be taken away. By the blood. We plead the blood. Now I see your house and I plead the blood over your house. I see your car and I see the car you are in. I plead the blood over it. I see the aeroplane and I say the blood of Jesus be over that aeroplane. I see you in somebody's car being driven somewhere. I plead the blood of Jesus. The Lord keep thee. The Lord keep thee. The Lord keep thee. In the name of Jesus. I see you walking by the roadside. The Lord keep thee. I see you at work. The Lord keep thee. I see you in school. The Lord keep thee. I see you sitting at a table. The Lord keep thee. I see your enemies. I say the Lord keep thee. I see some people having a meeting about you. May the Lord keep thee and protect you. I see a plan and a conspiracy about you. The Lord keep thee. 
The Lord help thee. The Lord bless thee. In the name of Jesus. Speak to Aaron. Speak to Aaron. And to his sons. Say on this wise. You shall bless the children of Israel. Saying unto them. So therefore I say unto you. The Lord help you. The Lord make his face shine on you. The Lord remember all your prayers. The Lord remember your prayers that you prayed last year and this year. May the Lord's ear open unto you. May his hand be extended into your direction. In the name of Jesus. The Lord bless thee. Little one, the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Thus shall you speak to Aaron and his sons, say, On this wise you shall bless the children, saying unto them, I say unto you, The Lord help you, and the Lord bless you. Receive it in Jesus' name. Let me hear your loudest amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. Take your offering out quickly, your tithes, and we're praying over it. Father, thank you as we present our tithes very happily to you today in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, bring your tithes. In the couple of weeks that our block here is going to be open, all children, children, if you have children, young, younger than a certain age, there is now space for you to give birth. Feel free and give birth now in the church. We'll soon have a song. Lord, I'm going to have a baby soon. Come with your tithes and expect a new job. I said expect a new job. Now, you must expect something better and higher in Jesus' name. Amen. How many have been sweating in your room when you sleep? May the Lord give you an air conditioner when you are sleeping. Amen. I said, may the Lord give you an air conditioner because the weather is abnormal. Thank you so much for staying with us up until this point. It's supposed to be cold. But it's hot. It's supposed to be being be cold in the night. And it doesn't work at all. That's not our experience. Global warming. Now, I want you to counsel the person next to you about offerings. Tell the person, do you give offering? Because you will not be, you will be poor if you don't learn how to give. Give, it shall be given to you. It's a spiritual thing. All right. Take out your offering and let's pray over it. Father in heaven, thank you for another opportunity to give a good offering. We are grateful in Jesus' name. I see only about eight hands. So. Sure. Are you all giving? Father, thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. What type of offering that can fit into you? Okay, Ashes, receive the offering. 
Thank you so much for staying to, with us up until this point. Uh, if you're watching us at home on any of our social media platforms or on Healing Jesus TV and you want to give your offering, you want to pay your tithe, or you want to give a donation to the ministry of the Bishop Dyke Hayward Mills, it's not hard. You know, the prophet always says that money is a very spiritual thing. And the Bible says that bring your tithe and your offerings into the storehouse, say of the Lord, and see if I will not open the floodgates of heaven. And so when you give your offering, when you pay your tithe, when you give to the ministry and the work of the Lord, God opens the windows of heaven and there are floodgates of blessings and blessings overshadow you and the blessings overtake you. So if you're sitting at home wondering how you can partake in this blessing and wondering how you can give to the ministry, pay your tithe or pay your offering, just go on to www.daghewardmills.org www.daghewardmills.org on the front page of that website there's a paypal or an online giving icon tap or click on it follow the prompts to give to the ministry to pay your tithe or to give your offering god bless you so much and see you a lovable is like a potential love like it's possible that i can love you so you can bring pipelines too. Is that not so? Yes. Lovable means it's possible. It's, it's I'm able to love. How many are able to love? That's why in the first love we move our waists. It's like we are young. Yes. You can't be stiff in the church. Yes. Flexible. And then the first love marriages, we, we break up before marrying into darkness. Continuous quarreling. If you are in the church and you are in a relationship that is not working and you marry, it's unto you. Because you are hearing enough. And there is somebody who is suitable for you. God made somebody for you just nice for you. The person you don't talk, the person also doesn't like talking, so you all, you all be quiet. All things work together for good. So don't blame anybody if you marry someone and you are just not happy. So if you are in a relationship and it's not working, break up. I am telling you to break up. Don't, anybody who says have patience, don't listen to the but I'm your pastor. I'm your shepherd. The Bible says you should obey your shepherd. Yeah listen to anybody. I want you to be happy. I'm not interested in starting marriage counseling three months after you marry. And you come and say that all the things in the preaching, that's what's happening in our marriage. Nonsense. We will transfer you to another church. In our church, we are happy. We have screams. So when you come and stand outside the first love church, you'll be there and you hear, ah! You, you think that you have to call the police, but it is just happiness. They are just happy now. They are playing. They are playing. When you are old, you can't play again. When somebody is playing, you just, you just look with some eye. You shake your head. How many want to play when you are married? Like playful. Yeah. Say, I'm going to play. I can't hear you. I say, I'm going to play because I'm young and I'm in the first love church. And here we play in our marriages. Yeah. So if you are in a relationship, you are, you are not feeling free. Stop pretending. Some of you, your beloved will come and visit you. Then you may say that, oh, he wants tea. Then you run to somebody. Charlie, Charlie, they say he wants, he say he wants tea. Oh, I don't have anything, Charlie, do you have? And everything is fake. But he doesn't know that the tea cup that you are eating, bring in. You went to get it from somewhere as an emergency. beloved who can hold your shirt and tear all your buttons. 
he can tear all your buttons. And you are still going to, out of anger, he can tear your buttons. You are going to marry the person. You are fixed wedding date. Tell the nearest brother, anybody who tears your buttons, Charlie, we are not practicing those things here. Then we don't have any medicine for it. Hey! They hold your shirt and they tell. Uh, stand up. They hold your shirt. Like, ah! Is that how to be a beloved? All my stories are real stories, so. So lovables and love things. Yes. First love brothers, keep the standard. Be nice. Yes. A first love brother who doesn't have feelings. We are not interested in you. I said we are not what? Interested in you. A brother without feelings. We need somebody with feelings. You are strong but you have feelings. How many sisters want a brother without feeling like it's just it's just quiet it's like a statue of liberty solid rock all right so please you have to come for the lovables uh 15th february you have to register and come and then peter lava is on the good no cool my tongue ah, why didn't you rather do Peter Lava I've been showing for a while so this is oh. our film stars they are like international they are different yeah, they have selection this year they are going to release Sheila Huh? What is free? Cool my tongue is free. No, we don't charge. All right. So those are the announcements. Tell your neighbor you will soon be in love. Tell your neighbor you will soon be in love. You watch. You watch it and see. You will soon be in love. Yes. Uh, greater love. You see, you are not minding me. You see, you see these people here. You see, oh, the greater love people is like, when I say you are loving and they're men. Mm. You've also seen it. They, they make their head like they, they turn the head and say, you'll soon be loving. It's like, it's like hmm. It's like we've passed first love. Yeah, we did actually love and all. First love, is it acceptable for? Should I call out the names of, of the greater lovers who are making their face now? Should I, should I mention their names? It started from the third row. <laughs> it started from the third row. Downwards. <laughs> okay. Out of respect, I don't want to mention, but all I'll say is it started from the third row and then it went downwards. Okay, so when we are saying the grace, we shall watch them to see whether the youthfulness is in them. Welcome, Cadella. I saw when I yet do the announcement first. Please let's observe the following announcements. If you are worshiping with us for the first time, today is your first time 
in the first love church we are so blessed to have you please rise to your feet there's no other love that we desire there's no greater love that we could ever know blessed jesus you are my first love there is no other love that can compare blessed jesus it is your holy love it is your perfect love that draws us to you and there's no other love that we desire yeah there's no greater love that we could ever know oh, 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 oh. blessed jesus you are my first love there is no other love that can compare and if today is your first time this dance was just for you right after the service don't be in a hurry to leave kindly move towards the salvation corner to my extreme left and i believe we have a gift from our prophet for you because you are so special to us god bless you mr and mrs asari got married last two weeks and i believe they are around so if please let's invite pastor jojo asari and lady pastor winnie much harder to come back i'm waiting in line nobody shows too much love anymore it's as high as the mountain but harder to climb First of all, we want to thank God for um, seeing us through um, our stage. We want to, thank, want, want to thank the prophet for prophesying our marriage into being. We are really, really grateful. I um, want to thank Sister Lulu, Apostle Toss, Sister Vivaldi, our counselors, Reverend Kwesi, um, LP Sister, LP Ivy. We are really, really grateful. Um, yes, our first night and subsequent honeymoon was, was fantastic. Um, prophecy came to pass. Um, I experienced practically shouts of joy. At, at a point, they were so loud, I... I I felt, I felt there was something. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But it was amazing. It was fantastic. I don't think my wife is about to. Um. <clears throat> <laughs> Within a space of just two weeks, so many of the prophecies have been fulfilled practically in our lives. And some of um, many times I wonder to myself how I could have just walked into such great blessing. And I know that it's only because we have a father. Thank you so much, Bishop Dag. And I mean, I'm still in a happy mood, so <laughs> I'm still happy. <laughs>
first of all, um, we want to thank God for making it uh, such a success. And um, we want to thank our prophet and our father, Bishop, thank you so much. So, so, so much. I mean, for everything that you did for the message, for it was, it was very, very powerful. I want to thank uh, our counselors, sister, LP sister. I want to thank my father in Nigeria, Reverend Peter Bright, the mandate himself. And I want to thank our families for their support. Well, to the first night. Um, I, I, I was still trying to look around because I was wondering if it was morning yet. Uh, it, we really had a long night. And I, I didn't know that the king size bed was so small till yesterday. We were all over the place. And. discovery and well <laughs> we had sustained shouts of joy sustained shouts of joy and I, I feel complete I think I've, I found my better half let me pass on the mic I feel complete to God Almighty for <laughs> making us marry because indeed marriage is a blessing it's a miracle I've been to so many weddings and daddy always says that marriage is a miracle I never understood it until I started planning for mine and it's just by God's grace that we are here <laughs> thank you so much our counselors our pastors we are truly grateful LP Serena thank you so much <laughs> About last night, <laughs> thank you very much. is a cool 40 Ghana CD. So please, if you want a ticket right after the service, you can go to the Mood Changing Plaza. There'll be a desk there to get a ticket for yourself. So please don't miss out on this. Some of us, the only places we watch movies are in our bedroom. So please take your beloved out this Friday to the Silver Bed Cinema, and I believe it's going to be a blessing. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Michaelis and the Dancing Stars. It's Michaelis. Who has a Yeah, boy. Let's go. Handle in the dark, leading nations to the light. Wow, who's there? Handle in the dark, leading people to the light. Who has a Handle in the dark, leading Candle, 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 Candle in the dark, leading people to the Candle in the dark, leading nations to the light Candle in the dark, leading people to the Candle in the dark, candle, candle in the dark Be a 
yes, or the winner. Of the righteous is a tree of life. A he that winneth so is wise. Me a so
prophets for such a powerful service, such a powerful message on soul winning, urging us to follow hard after what is very important to God. Thank you so much. All too soon we've come to the end of the service and there's no revival at seven. Hold your neighbor, son. Menelewawobie. Please, the tickets for the moving nights is 40 CDs per head, not for the two, so please take notes. Amen. Hold your neighbor's hand. Let's share the grace. Please take note of your neighbor's waist when we get to end the first loop. Amen. The, let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God, the communion, fellowship, contribution, participation of the Holy Spirit, the 10,000 children, wishing all the important people for my life, and the first love of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for staying with us all through the service. All too soon, our amazing prophetic encounter service has come to an end. We wish we could stay here, we wish it could continue, but everything that has a beginning has to have an end. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for inviting somebody to tune in. If you're anywhere in or around Accra, you can join us for the prophetic encounter service this and every Sunday at 11 o'clock a.m. on the dot. We are right here at the First Love Center. The First Love Center is situated at East Legon on the Trinity Seminary Road behind the Allied Oil Filling Station. It's always a blessing to be seated at the feet of the anointed man of God, Bishop Dagwood Mills. Lives are being changed, lives are being transformed. Young people become servants of God. Young people become lovers of God. Young people become people who want to do more and more for God. And it's just a blessing. And you're never too old or too young to be working for God. You're never too young to be saved or never too old to be saved or to be born again. So join us every Sunday on any of our social media platforms, YouTube, 
Facebook Live, Twitter, and, and uh, uh, Periscope. You can also join us on Healing Jesus TV for the Prophetic Encounter Service. It happens every Sunday at 11 a.m. right here at the First Love Center. Today's service was spectacular. It was so amazing. Today the prophet preached on soul winning. You can listen to this message again on the podcast. Now, if you don't know how to do that, if you don't know what that is, please go on your app store or on your play store, on your phone, on your iPad, on your um, tablet. Just type podcast. Look for type M. Um, look for podcast in the search box and download the podcast app. Now, when you download the app, in the search box of the app, tap Dag Hayward Mills. Look for Dag Hayward Mills there. And then all the messages that he's preached over the years are available to listen to free of charge. This is a great blessing that you should take advantage of and, 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 and change your life, transform your life for the better. Because the ministry of the prophets has transformed different lives and has changed different lives and it can change yours too. So see you same time next week right here for the Prophetic and Council service at the First Love Center. My name is Ajoa and it's been a blessing with you. God bless you and see you next week.